if you're like me, every so often you read about something that you think is really cool, you know, in history. You just think that these people had it together. Whether it was luck or, for, or, or hard work or a combination of both, Drs. Calmet and Guerin came together at the right place and time, and they developed this, this vaccine, which is how many people knew that BCG stood for Bacillus Calmet Guerin? Probably, probably less than half. Um, but the BCG vaccine, is interesting in and of itself is that it is the result of an, an atten multiple attenuation, read that like 230 times, of M. bovis. And again, the research was aided by uh, invading German veterinarians. BCG vaccine is not routinely used in the United States really at all, with one exception. And that is for children who are going to be, because of their parental or, or community uh, uh, realities are going to be continually exposed to someone with untreated or resistant infectious TB. That's really the only indication in the United States for the, for the, for the routine, if you will, use of the BCG vaccine. Despite that rather limited usage in the United States, BCG vaccine is probably the most widely used vaccine in human history. It's been given to billions of people over time. Uh, it has an exceedingly low adverse uh, reaction profile, and despite some recent stimulation in, per, in research towards better preventions, it still remains alone uh, as, as a sole arrow in the quiver against uh, uh, tuberculosis from a, uh, a vaccin vaccinal standpoint. Even more interesting than this, in the past decade or so, it's been recognized that the antigen in the BCG vaccine has other non-tubercular applications, and it does it has really interesting uh, immune modulatory uh, uh, properties. They're using it now for uh, intravesicular uh, therapy for, for bladder cancer. Uh, the humor, humoral response is activated against the, specifically against the cancer cells. Uh, it, it has been shown to reverse certain uh, type 1 diabetes. It restores the regulatory T cells for, in the pancreatic islet cells. And also, it has, been, has shown some significant activity to both prevent and even to potentially reverse the autoimmune uh, processes in multiple sclerosis. So these are, as I was reading this, I mean, this is really beyond interesting, and it goes beyond uh, kind of a TB talk, but this is a vaccine for which there are other applications maybe well into the future. And the most cool thing about the Bacillus Calmet, uh, about those two doctors is one was a physician and one was a veterinarian. So that's kind of the, you know, the, the two-beat drum thing at the end, you know, and you just walk away and drop the, uh, the microphone. But uh, <laughs> um, this is a perfect example of a One Health approach to a One Health disease. 